Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry for my somewhat long absence. Um, I've been traveling, I've been busy, I've been having technical difficulties. Hopefully I can get through this a-okay today. What I have today is a hot look haul. Hot look, hope look, oat look, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna say hope look, hope, 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 hope. Mm, I'm not sure. You guys know what this is. This is all stuff that I ordered back before Christmas, but because I live so far away, it takes quite a while for things to get here. I'm very excited to see what's in here. I've actually forgotten most of what is in here, so let's go ahead and take a look. Get my handy dandy knife. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Do you guys see all of that? That is, that's a ton of stuff. Most of it is from brands that I have tried very little of because I've never really had access to it. So when I saw that it was on Hot Look, I grabbed it up really quickly. The first thing I got is the NYX The It List, The Naturals. It comes with the Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, a Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Perfect, the Lip Plumper in Kim, the Soft Matte Lip Color in Antwerp. What's up? name and the extreme shine lip cream in natural I'm very excited for this I'm especially excited for the butter gloss and the soft matte lip cream I don't have any butter glosses but I do have um, two of the lip creams and I love them to death the next thing is actually the same thing it's just in the pinks so it comes with a butter gloss in Eclair the soft matte lip cream in Istanbul the extreme shine lip cream in Nude Peach Fuzz, Lip Plumper in Pamela, the Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. So yeah, I'm excited about both of these. Can't wait to try them, especially the butter glosses because everyone and their mother talks about them. I have no idea how much these were, but I want to say they were somewhere around $10, maybe $10 or $12. I don't know, they weren't too expensive. It was a really good price for what you were getting. These are NYX eyelashes. I have never really been an eyelash person. I've only worn eyelashes like a handful of times in my life for like prom and homecoming and those types of things. It's been a couple years since I've put on the falsies, but I just got these to just kind of play around with. I think these were $6 for the pack of three. There's some natural ones, some more like nighttime ones, and then, this is so funny. On the package, it says, NYX Fabulous Lashes. Stop staring at my eyes. My mother gave me these lashes, okay? Okay, I thought it was funny. Oh, yes. The next thing I got were these two three packs of NYX blushes. These were only $9 a piece, which was awesome because you save about six bucks. I got the color Peach Pinched and Summer Peach. And then the next one, the next ones that I got is Cocoa, Desert Rose, and Cinnamon. And Cocoa looks kind of like a nice contour shade. And I'm so excited about both of these. So excited, it's just like a NYX overload. The next thing I got is this set of NYX retractable lip liners. I have never really used lip liners before. I have maybe three or four, um, but not too many. I think these were about $15. Um, this one is Jewel. This one is Nude Pink, Citrus, Red, and Peony. I'm excited about all of these. They're waterproof, so hopefully they last a good long while. And yeah, I'm very excited about these. I got some storage. This is just a little two drawer organizer for makeup. Um, they're kind of like the Muji ones, but I didn't want to spend, I think they're like $20 a set for two or three drawers, I'm not really sure. This one was eight and the next one was 10. This bigger one, which is a three drawer, and I'm excited for both of them. I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna do with them now because last weekend I actually went to the wonderful world of Ikea and got the small Alex five drawer and I'm going back this weekend to pick up another set of the five drawers to like make a desk out of. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these now since I have all this other storage, but these will be nice to have regardless. I definitely don't think I got everything that I ordered. I ordered a bunch of stuff from the bomb 
that I didn't get in this order and I'm pretty upset about it because I was so excited. It had the Frat Boy Blush Mary Luminizer and one of their In Stain blushes and I was so excited to get them but they didn't come in this order which is sad. Okay, the next couple of things that I got are these crown brushes. I got this big set. This is the eight uh, piece kit. This box is really, really nice. And then I also got, this is the crown brush. I have no idea what number it is. It's just a blush brush. Um, it's smaller than I had anticipated, but it's so soft. I had never actually heard anything about crown because you know here on YouTube, everyone talks about Sigma and Mac and Real Techniques, which I have all of them and I love them all. But I know that these are supposed to be good brushes and they were on um, Holt Look for really, really cheap. I think this one was like $5 maybe in this one. I think this one was like seven maybe. And it's, it's a really nice brush. It's kind of heavy. The bristles are so soft. This is the Deluxe Round Buffer, and this one is the Contour Blush Brush. That makes sense because it's smaller. I was really not too sure how I was going to like these, but I like them so far. I'm so impressed with this case. It's ridiculously nice. Let's see how these are. They don't have numbers or anything on them. This is a flat shader brush. I do believe, yeah, we're going to call it that. We're going to call this flat shader brush. It's really dense. I like it. It's going to be nice to like use in the corners of my eyes and like to really pack on color. This is one of those like, you know, foundation brushes. I like these for under my eye for um, eye concealer and to set my under eyes with. Oh my gosh. If Sigma brushes feel anything like this, I need to know and I need to get them. This is just like a powder brush. It's so ridiculously soft. This is a big crease brush. This will be really nice. This is really soft as well. Yeah, this is just like a regular eyeshadow brush uh, to like pat it on your eye. That's yeah, nice too. Another, it's like the same brush except it's uh, thicker and denser. You guys can see that. This one's much uh, thicker and dense than this one. Yeah, I'm excited about those. The next you get an eyeliner brush. I never really use these. I actually use these for my eyebrows most of the time, and this one seems like a good one. Uh, I will give it a shot. Give it a go. An eyebrow eyelash comb. Don't really use these either, but this will be nice to shape my brows and to um, get rid of any clumps in my mascara. My last video was the what's in my travel makeup bag video, and I posted that probably close to a month ago. Right after that video was posted, I left and was out of country for about two weeks or about a week and a half. Um, and then my husband was on leave from work for about a week and a half after that. So I didn't film. I wanted to spend time with him. He just went to work like not too long ago, maybe a week and a half ago. And I've just been very busy. And my camera is not really meant for filming which kind of makes it hard to do and in northern italy it rains a lot during the winter it's very foggy and it's just gross and upsetting almost every day this is the first sunny day i think i've seen in like a month which is kind of sad but anyways lighting is just not good i am actually planning to purchase a new camera here within the next couple of weeks. For those of you who know anything about cameras, I'm getting the Canon 7DD. Yes, I know you're all probably like, oh, you just started YouTube. Why are you getting such an awesome camera? I am a photographer. That is what I do here with my time, kind of, sort of. So I do need to upgrade my camera. I need to upgrade my equipment. And it just so happens that the 7DD has ridiculously amazing video quality. It has full autofocus in video mode, which is uh, pretty unheard of, especially for the type of autofocus that it has. It's supposed to be pretty silent and work pretty great. So I'm excited about that. Actually, like, yes, I'm a photographer. Yes, that's what I'm going to be using it for mostly, but I do really want to do this whole YouTube thing and, you know, go big or go home, right? I've been watching a lot of uh, Nikki Philippi's videos lately. She talked about, like, when she first started out YouTube, she really just, like, 
went big. Jordan Cheyenne, if you guys watch her, she's amazing. Same with her, like she waited to start her channel until like she had the right equipment and uh, just to like make everything perfect because when you do start this, you wanna make your channel the best that you can from the beginning. So that's what I'm trying to do. And so that's my life, that's what's going on right now. And hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I will have a much better setup, a much better camera, a much better, um, I don't know how lighting's gonna do, but um, I'll have much better quality videos. I'll do something with this background going on back here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching and thank you and have a great week. Uh, have a great weekend whenever you're watching this. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.